Gender violence has increased three times over the last year, despite efforts by the federal government to end the menace. This has forced the government to employ a new strategy which takes survival's centered approach in tackling the issue. Correspondent Moyo Thomas reports. The advocacy to end gender-based violence in Nigeria continues to gain more attention and the federal government is showing more commitments to the fight. It has, along with other partnering agencies, launched USAID's Momentum Country and Global Leadership. Not one of us has appeared to fight for the to this fight. The initiative involves a survival center approach to responding to gender-based violence in Nigeria. We'll be supporting policies and strategies that will help us address issues around intimate partner violence, sexual violence, child early and forced marriage. Isolation during lockdowns and restrictions have resulted in reduced access to information, psychosocial support, legal support, and disruptions in health services, including inadequate uh, supplies of critical health commodities. The federal government is also, through the Ministry of Women Affairs, hoping to synergize with agencies and Nigerian citizens to stamp out gender-based violence. We are more than ever convinced that gender Based violence is driven by structural, economic inequalities, and unequal power relations that render women subordinate to men due to limited access to education. This movement is aimed at ensuring effective coordination of responses to cases of sexual and gender based violence in Nigeria. The response team bring together all relevant line ministries, departments, and agencies, including the federal ministries of health, justice, education, and the Nigerian police. And such initiatives are necessary in Nigeria, now more than ever, with a steady increase in cases of gender violence. The Minister of Women Affairs is worried that recorded cases have tripled in the last one year, which only underscores the fact that all agencies need to work together to eradicate the menace. Most of these issues of violence have a link with poverty. Because if women are financially independent, they are educated, I think they will rise against anybody raising hands on them. So our ministry, we are ready to partner with all sister ministries, especially the Ministry of Women Affairs. Domestication of the VAP Act by all states in Nigeria, expunging Section 55 of the Penal Code that allows a man beat a woman and ensuring justice for all survivors would be a good starting point. Every Nigerian speaking up against gender violence will help eradicate this menace from our society. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.